Hi, it's Harry from One Direction. Here is a behind the scenes look at the sculpting process of our Madame Tussauds wax figures. I'm Jim Kempton. I'm a principal sculptor at Madame Tussauds and uh, I've just been sculpting Harry Styles. I met Harry in uh, January and at that point we uh, take about 200 measurements and about uh, 400 photographs. So discuss what sort of expression uh, that Harry would like to have for the portrait. Having got all the information at the sitting, it was then great to be able to bring it back to the studios and uh, try and capture that playful smile in the clay. You can't totally rely on, on it just suddenly working. You need to really make sure that every little nuance of that smile is captured. It was a challenge, but uh, it was a great challenge. Having gathered all the information uh, that we could in the hour or so we had with Harry, we build up from an armature, basically a, you know, a metal, thin metal structure, just enough to support the clay, and build up the clay, it's gradually building up until it takes the form and it has the same kind of feel of the volume of Harry's head. When the clay is at a stage where um, there's a really good kind of foundation there and everything seems to be working. We uh, were lucky enough to get the chance to take the head to, um, for Harry to see it and to have 40 minutes of him just next to the clay. And that 40 minutes is more valuable than all the, you know, four or five weeks of sculpting here from two-dimensional information. When you see the brightness in the individual, you can then try to capture some of that in the clay. I mean, Harry is quite funny at one point. He just said, uh, you know what, Jim? I really don't think this is working. I think we're gonna have to start again. Which, you know, then he started laughing, thankfully. It's great to have that um, humour. And then as he left the room, we had all the heads lined up in this, uh, uh, in this kind of conference room. And he just poked his head back round his head. And, uh, and by the way, I reckon we should get some bodies. Hi, it's Liam from One Direction. Here's a behind the scenes look at the sculpting of our figures. Hi, I'm Alex Carlisle. I'm a sculptor at Madame Two Swords and uh, recently worked on Liam Payne from One Direction. First, we start with the sitting um, where we take a lot of measurements up to 250 and about the same number of photographs. It was clear to me that he was a really nice, kind guy and uh, I wanted to get some of that expression into his pose. We start with a, an aluminium armature inside and we slowly build up the clay onto this and start using the measurements and the pictures that we took to build up his head. We incrementally build up this clay layer over the aluminium armature that we start with and then using all the different measurements we create the head and it slowly comes into shape. And over the five weeks that we're sculpting it, we're constantly referring back to the reference that we took. Just trying to get a really good likeness and get it as close to the sittings pictures as possible. And towards the end, we're just really refining some of those details like the around the eyes and the smile, getting the teeth just right. Liam recently obviously shaved his head, which is actually really helpful as a sculptor because it gives you um, a lot of detail about this, the shape of his skull, which sometimes can be a bit of guesswork if it's underneath uh, a lot of hair and I think he was quite pleased with the result. He was really concerned that his figure you know, looked good and he was really helpful with me getting more measurements and checking things off and giving me any little tips about what he thought about it. So one aspect of sculpting the head is to make sure that it's as accurate as possible. To nail the exact details of the face and, and get all the points in the right place. And that was a bit of a challenge because the expression that we were trying to get was this key thing of him looking uh, kind of generous and kind and at the same time kind of excited to be there with the rest of his band. Hi, I'm Louis from One Direction. Here is an exclusive look at the sculpting of our figures. Hi, I'm Georgina and I'm one of the sculptors for Madame Two Swords. I've been sculpting Louis Tomlinson. So with each wax figure, and in the case for Louis, we start off with a brief that our stylist provides for us. 
set the wheels in motion for a sitting. We got them for 90 minutes and within that time we collect 200 measurements and 200 photos and from that we bring that all back to studios where I was able to start the process of sculpting Louis's head. Each head starts off with a, a metal um, armature that goes inside the head. So we start with that and then we put the clay on and we work to a profile that we would have taken at the sitting, which is a shot of Louis from five metres away. And then using the measurements and using the photos, we hope to capture the expression and, and Louis as best we can. And I really do feel that we really got um, Louis and I re just really hope the fans appreciate it and, and like it as much as we do. One unique thing about sculpting the One Direction boys is that we've got five of them. And the really unique part was is they were all on this bench and that the eye angle all had to look in the same direction. The bench had two levels and we were meeting each of the guys on separate days. Getting the, that all to link up at the end to get the result we want in itself is, is pretty tricky. But the guys were great and we had a really good team on it and I think we, we nailed it. The great thing about Louis's figure is I really feel we've got that cheeky expression, the lifted eyebrows, really bright smile. And hopefully that's exactly what the fans want to see and, um, and hopefully we've got it for them. Hi, I'm Niall from One Direction. Here is behind the scenes look of the sculpting of our figures. I'm David Burks. Um, I'm a senior sculptor at Madden to Swords and I've been sculpting Niall from One Direction. Well, we met the boys, we had a sitting with them all, we measured and photographed them all. And then I've been working on the photos and measurements ever since for about five weeks. Finally crafting their portraits. But they've been great to work on. The second sitting was great, they were really, really good fun. Obviously we'd met them all um, previously so it wasn't they weren't too shy with us and knew what to expect and they were really pleased with the stuff that we'd already done. Niall was particularly impressed, he uh, couldn't sit still which was a bit tricky for me because I needed him to obviously do the same pose as the portrait but he was far too impressed with uh, actually sculpting himself so I had to stop him from doing his own portrait so I could finish him off. He just seemed really impressed with the process and was really interested in how we, how we did it, how we sculpted them. And as soon as I showed him what a couple of the tools do and what I needed to do, he, he dove, dove straight in there and was helping me sculpt himself. He's got a great face, he's got a really nice sort of expression. He's, he's not sort of a fully blown sort of smile. He was, had a nice smirk. There's a little bit of cheekiness to the to the grin. From the first time we met him, he was he was really excited about the process, really excited about having his portrait done. Um, and the second sitting was was just great fun to chat to and and to explain what we're doing. And yeah, he was just really nice nice guy. Hi, I'm Zane from One Direction. Here's a look at behind the scenes of the sculpting of our figures. My name is Stephen Mansfield, I'm a principal sculptor at Adam to Swords and I've been working on Zane from One Direction. It was great fun, I mean it's a challenge because he is so famous and so many people will have an opinion on how the figure looks and so you have that in mind constantly while you're working on it. On a sort of more personal level he was a, a really nice bloke and just thoroughly enjoyed doing the sitting, we did the first sitting and he was just a really good sport, very helpful in the sitting, he did the pose brilliantly, held the smile brilliantly, really just terrific. What's interesting is their reaction to each other's heads as much as anything because they're used to seeing each other. As he you know, points out, he said, you know, I'd be used to seeing myself in a mirror so I'd be the other way around and all of this. 
think he was impressed, I think he liked it. And he then sat and I was then able to work on the, the clay head with him sitting there, so, which was really useful. The sculpting process, we block the whole figure out in clay over a metal skeleton, an armature, and then the head is separated from the body. One the sculptor works on the head, one sculptor works on the body. So in this case I was working on Zane's head for five weeks. The main thing I hope that comes across in the figure is his, he had this great smile, kind of playful and a bit cheeky and it's very difficult to describe and I hope the figure kind of captures that feel because he, he had the most brilliant kind of character about him. I suppose that is ultimately what you want to get across in the, in the figure. I think just kind of a bit overwhelmed. We actually first heard when we were at Madame Two Swords looking at all the figures, so it was even like more like, wow, we're actually going to get one of these made, and they're so amazing as well. I mean, the quality of work that goes on over there is mad. So this is insane. Like all the biggest, you know, stars around the world get these um, wax works made of them, and why are we five normal lads just like jokers getting these wax works made of us? We were super excited to find out that they're actually making one of us, and, and people actually thought we were worthy of one. We've been to Madame Tussauds and, you know, to see the kind of people who are in there, it's crazy to think that we'll be up there with them. I don't know, I think it's quite going to be quite weird to look at yourself as a waxwork, but uh, it's an amazing honour to be there. I mean, if you look at some of the names that are there, we're, we're very proud to be up there. So yeah, it's, it's, a, it's an amazing honour, it's really cool and uh, we can't wait to see them. Well, I do think the, the, the Beatles waxwork is amazing. I remember uh, Rihanna looked quite really good actually. I think for me Gandhi is probably the best one that I saw. I think he just looks so good. Do you know what? I saw one of Arnold Schwarzenegger as Terminator and I think that might be my favourite one actually, as geeky as it is. I was just walking around like looking at the um, all the artists in the music part and there was like Bob Marley there so I was just like sat next to Bob Marley taking a photo. It was quite cool. Um, I think you should make who is there not? I think uh, Madame Tussauds should make Adele because um, you know she's done a lot for you know she started this whole British invasion and she's done a lot for for music around the world and she's smashed America so I think they should make it Adele. Do you have like a superhero section? I think Madame Tussauds needs to make Mother Teresa. I say John Mayer, but do you think they should? Do you think it's somebody else? I think it'd be cool to uh, to have. Ed Sheeran there in his little orange hoodie with his orange hair. Frank Ocean's cool. So so Frank Ocean, yeah. Uh, Jay-Z one because he's the best rapper of all time. I suppose it's kind of strange because they're, 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 you know, they're, they're quite fun to look at, but I don't know about kissing them. I think it's, uh, I think it's cool that our figures are going to be, uh, are going to be kissed by different people. Um, hopefully that's hygienic. I don't know, it's a weird question. I don't know really how to answer that. Does anyone want to help me out? Um, might get a bit waxy. Uh, that's quite mad. And one day I might just trade places with him. And they might get like waxy. Maybe we should make them out of lip balm. Pretty cool. Just want to again say thank you to anyone who requested uh, that our figures were made, and hopefully you're happy with the results. Just want to say thank you very much, and I really hope you enjoy them. Uh, I hope they turn out good because obviously we're still in the making of. So I uh, hope the wax figures turn out good, and I hope you guys like them. It's crazy, and yeah, we just can't thank them enough. And uh, hopefully they have fun and uh, they get to take a photo with One Direction. We hope you enjoy the figures and get lots of pictures, and then hopefully we will meet you at some point and we'll get a real one. <laughs>